Hey, familia, Dana Cortez here, and I'm so excited about this new segment. It's called Outer Beauty. Look, we all know that the inside, that's what counts, right? But our outward appearance also has an effect on how we feel about ourselves. Co-hosting with me, Dr. Bryant. He is a double board certified, world renowned facial plastic surgeon. We will look at some of your favorite artists, Hollywood superstars, and breaking down the surgeries they've had and just everyday people like you and me too. The episode starts now. I'm so excited. Okay, Dr. Bryant, obviously, Miss Kim Kardashian has been in the news lately because she's going through a divorce. I'm sure you know that. Yeah. <laughs> and she's one of the most beautiful women in the world before any work, any of that. Let's establish that from jump, right? I, I don't want to, you know, disparage her in any way because I've seen pictures of her when she was young and she's always been very gorgeous. Yep, she certainly has that natural genetic beauty for sure. Yes, for sure. That being said, let's be real. The structure of her face, um, it's changed. So what do you suspect that, you know, Kim Kardashian has had done? Yeah, so if you when you look at her overall facial profile, she certainly aged really well over time. But some of the non-surgical things that she's done, most likely to kind of accent or augment her natural beauty, uh, would probably be small amounts of appropriately placed filler kind of in the cheek here to add some volume and a little more definition. Um, some people also get some kind of slimming treatments with um, things like ultrasonic or all therapy, where you can kind of tighten up the skin and maybe get rid of a little bit of excess fat to get us jawline slimmer too. I'm glad you said that because I feel like her face has a much more slim look around this area versus when she was younger even and that usually doesn't it usually happen like the opposite way when you get older <laughs> yeah for sure as we age everything kind of goes down and in towards your mouth and you get kind of that frumpy appearance um one of the other things that's really popular and she may have done too right now is masseter botox and that is jawline slimming back here and that really helps give that kind of chiseled thin look um, and a more feminine profile. Now, obviously, Kim is not old, but she's older now. She's 40. She's a 40 plus year old woman. How do you suspect she maintains her appearance at this age, this youthful appearance that she's got going, the glow and everything? Obviously, she has a great plastic surgeon. That's step number <laughs> one, right? Um, but I think sticking around with some good skincare, kind of starting on the outside in, I know she has some good diet tips and tricks. And then doing, I think, good treatments, but not overdoing them is one of the things that really kind of accents her natural beauty without distorting her appearance too much. I'm so glad you said that first about the diet, because what you put in your body, you're going to show that on your face, everything else. I mean, the skin, the clear, the, the glow, all of that, correct? Oh, absolutely. It's one of the foundations. And then you also talked about exercise. I mean, she's in better shape now than she was you know, years ago. So thank you so much for all of that. And these yep. are all things that you do in your own office, correct? Yep. Yeah, we do all of that stuff starting, you know, we try to take a multifaceted approach because there's usually not just one single golden ticket that gets you that best result. So. All right. So I'm going to pull up next week. See you then. No, I'm just kidding. Awesome. <laughs>